Jason Momoa is rumored to be exiting Aquaman because Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is terrible. This is an actual headline <laughs> and it made me laugh so hard. Um, I'm excited to dive into this. I'm sorry for my voice right now. I'm still getting over a cold. That's why I have not been making videos for the past couple days. This cold won't quit. It just won't quit. But after two days straight of sleeping, I'm over it. I'm ready to get back into the groove of things. Thank you, Watley, for tagging me in this so I could cover it today because I have been asleep for almost 48 straight hours. NyQuil and sleep time. Take as 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 instructed okay i'm not i'm don't do no ODing on this crap all right so anyway <laughs> here's the article which this does make me sad because y'all know i'm a jason momoa simp i can't help it like i don't care how woke he gets all this crap i just like jason momoa he's jolly he seems like a nice dude and i think he's an amazing aquaman uh, I actually really liked the first Aquaman movie. And so, obviously, I've been disappointed about all the whole, like, Amber Heard drama, all this kind of stuff. And I haven't wanted her in the sequel, but alas. Uh, all these delays and all this stuff, and for how much they keep cutting her parts down, I mean, it sounds like it's going to suck. And let's be honest, the first Aquaman movie wasn't a masterpiece. It had all kinds of issues but uh, it was just fun. It was a really fun watch. It wasn't necessarily a cinematic masterpiece. I mean, the I think the special effects were great. I love the battle, the underwater battle, all that kind of stuff. And then, like I said, Jason Momoa is just a really likable dude. And, I mean, he looks good, so that helps. <laughs> but he's also just a really likable dude. Um, and, I don't know. I, I, just, I just love the first one. So, it's not like this second one had to be a masterpiece to be good. You had the formula right there, okay? Give us some cool cinematography. Because I do think that is one of the best parts of the first Aquaman. And that a lot of people uh, kind of overlook is the cinematography was freaking amazing. It was gorgeous. And uh, so, I do think that's one of the big selling points of the first movie. It was just a wholesome watch is what it felt like um so just do it again a second time <laughs> i know easier said than done but i mean how do you mess it up i don't know you had all the components so a new rumor claims that jason momoa will exit the role of aquaman because of the upcoming sequel is reportedly terrible why does he have to leave though just because it's terrible i don't get it um alleged scooper twitter user viewer annan Claimed test screenings for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom are not looking great. As reported by Cos Cosmic Book News, in a now-deleted tweet, viewer Annan wrote, I'll be honest, we're half a dozen test screenings in, and it's not looking great. I've consistently heard over the last half year or so that it's boring. Oh, no. Not as good as the first and potentially one of the worst DCEU movies. Oh, no. Oh, heck no. Yikes. However, the user previously claimed the film's test reactions were okay and pretty similar to the first back in December. The user wrote, Aquaman 2 has tested a bunch. Reactions okay. Pretty similar to the first. Okay. When confronted on this previous claim, viewer Annan responded, I was trying to be as positive as possible so as not to worry people. I was also comparing it to Aquaman's final reaction versus the more positive test screening scores i'd heard all right uh regardless another scooper bsl appeared to corroborate viewer annan's more recent claim that aquaman and the lost kingdom is not testing well he tweeted there's a reason i've been avoiding any questions about aquaman and the lost kingdom but since viewer annan put it out there it brings me no joy to back him up and tell you that test screenings for this film have not been good Really hoping Wan fixes his movie before December, the scooper added. This just sounds like a giant nightmare for DC in general. I mean, they've already had all these issues with the actors themselves. I mean, Amber Heard and all her drama and people not wanting to watch after that. Um, I mean, The Flash and Ezra Miller and all of the things that he's up to with all of his stuff. All he had to do was give just saying, I'm sorry. And then now, you know, oh, he said he's sorry. Let's throw Michael Keaton in there. 
fix. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Which uh, that ain't enough for me. Some people are asking my opinions. That's not enough for me. I will go to YouTube and watch the Michael Keaton scenes. I just don't. I'm I'm just not. I'm not gonna watch it. Y'all watch if you want though. Um. So. Um. Yeah. So this is where he said he backed him up. The scooper added in a follow up tweet. I heard that something that almost never happened in test screenings happened with this movie. They're really going to need to fix this one and fix it fast. How come these conversations aren't happening with Ezra Miller? How come? I don't know, dude. It just seems like there's all this stuff going on. And why is it? Why Why would? I don't understand why the answer to this question would be scrap Jason Momoa. Get rid of Jason Momoa. Why would that be the answer to this? You know, it's clear that the first movie did well. So people like he didn't. It's not his fault. Why, why is that the answer? I don't understand. I don't really like the state of the DCEU right now and everything with James Gunn and all their plans, everything they're doing with that. I just feel like it's a bad place. Viewer Annan responded writing, this is one of the bad things about being a scooper. I don't want to crap on movies, but at a certain point when people know there have been a lot of test screenings, our silence becomes pretty telling. I like when... I know he's had a rough time on this one. I hope it works out. You know, I can relate to this kind of stuff because, like, which, by the way, I'm eating cough drops right now, guys. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to talk enough for a video, let alone a stream, which I would like to do today. But if this doesn't get better, I'm just going to have to wait another day or two. So, anyway, I know how this feels because, like, I'm a huge Tomb Raider fan. I, I it brings me no joy to crap on Tomb Raider when some bad news drops, right? And so there's sometimes I won't cover something just because it's just like, man, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be that Doomsday Tomb Raider fan, even though that's just where we're at. I don't think Tomb Raider is going to be good in the foreseeable future. And I don't want to be the person who keeps on crapping on it all the time. Like, I'm a fan. It ain't fun. And, like, I know some of the devs work on the game, and I know they care. They don't, it's not in their control, though. And you know, it's all, like, the higher-ups and all that crap. And we're making all these stupid decisions. But it just sucks when, when this happens. Like, we don't want to be a bear of bad news all the time with stuff we like. So I get where he's coming from on this. Um, and we try to be optimistic, which I've tried to be in the past. You know, with the state of Tomb Raider. Oh, it's going to get better now. She, she'll get there. She'll get there. She'll become the Tomb Raider. They said she would. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Look where we're at now. Ugh. Man, life comes at you fast. You, you just got to be jaded sometimes. Uh, BSL would also uh, be confronted with his previous claim from July that test screenings were mostly positive. Okay. He explained his alleged news scoop saying, I have no clue. I heard mixed to positive back then. And last week I heard nothing but bad things. Okay. I don't know. I kind of believe him. <laughs> I mean, I kind of, I believe him. I believe him. All right. BSL and viewer Annan weren't the only ones to claim Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is terrible. The anklers, Jeff Snyder, also claimed the movie is terrible, but he also asserts that the film being terrible is why Jason Momoa will become Lobo in James Gunn's new DCU going forward. Snyder tweeted, I heard it's terrible and that's why Momoa is going to be Lobo moving forward, but they can't say that yet because then it would be a lame duck. And DC is hoping to ring another billion out of the box office. First one was awful too, so not a huge surprise. <laughs> I wouldn't say awful. But like I said earlier, it wasn't a cinematic masterpiece by any means. But it had a charm to it, and it was wholesome, and had good cinematography. Jason Momoa was a likable dude. And I think all those components put together, and the visual effects, is what made it successful. Okay? Uh, so, yeah. That's my opinion anyway, but I respect the different ones. The idea that the film is doing terribly with test audiences shouldn't come as a surprise as Jason Momoa recently revealed the film contains a giant lecture about climate change. <laughs> oh no, dude. No. I'm trying to defend this, man. 
Oh, no. He told Variety, we'll have Aquaman, which is funny. The beautiful thing is that me and my partner wrote the first treatment for it. About a 55-page treatment. And a lot of it has to deal with me talking to the UN, expediting what's going to be happening with the melting ice caps. All right, Jason Momoa and your private jets and all that. I'm rooting for you, man. I'm not like, I stick up for you all the time, my dude. Please stop. <laughs> There's no far off galaxy coming to destroy us. There's no alien from another place. It's really just the idea of us ruining our planet, he added. And the fact that we all need to get it together and save our home. All right, now, I do agree that it's there's no aliens coming after us. And it's funny that now I'm a conspiracy theorist for saying I don't believe in aliens. Um, I think that's a whole psyop in itself. And I think that, you know, it's either going to be staged via, like, product Project Bluebeam or something like that. Or... Uh, possibly fallen angels and nephilim so i ain't buying anything i ain't believing anything coming out of nasa's mouth i'll tell you that much and i am not if they ever do this whole oh we want you to come to another planet oh we're gonna start sending people to another planet want to hop on and no thank you bob i'm not about to do that and get my organs harvested or get sacrificed to moloch or whatever else this, the hollywood or corrupt peeps are doing at the time no, thank you. Mm -mm, not going to happen. Miss me with all of that. Um, I think that the way that climate change is exaggerated so much um, is obviously not a concern or real, like, um, you know, or these celebrities wouldn't be flying in private, private jets or buying houses on, you know, shore sides and all this kind of stuff. But I will say, you know, not teaching people not to litter – Hey, that's a good thing. Teach people not to litter. That's fine. Take care of the planet we have. You know, let's let's keep it pretty. I get that. That's fair. Um, but, I mean, also, though, when it comes to this movie, let it just be this movie. Just freaking stop preaching that stuff at us. Anyway, so it looks like climate change stuff. It looks like we're getting preached at in this movie. Now, I do like to hear that Jason Momoa will still be a part of the DCEU, but, uh, like, if he's Lobo and all that, which they can't share right now, <sighs> but yikes, dude. But yikes. I probably wasn't going to watch this anyway, because of Amber Heard and all that crap. Anyway, <laughs> um... There you have it for today's video. I'm sorry I'm a mess today. Like, I I couldn't really... I, I'm, I'm really glad I was tagged in this to even cover it. Because, like, I've been sick. I've been in bed sleeping for two days straight. Taking NyQuil. Eating cough drops. And struggling to keep food down. My brain is so foggy right now. <laughs> I'm just not in a place to come up with anything very riveting. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Anyway, I miss you guys. I can't wait till I feel better. I, I think tomorrow is going to be fine. I'm, I should be on uh, prime time with Alex Stein uh, tomorrow. That's the goal. So I got to get my crap together. That's why I'm like, trying to get myself around. Maybe I'll get a stream in today. I would like to, but I don't know. I'm just going to try to make me some some bone broth, some beef, beef bone broth, and maybe I will feel better. Ugh, I hate being sick. It's so rare that happens, but here I am. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'll catch you next time. In the meantime, go boom. I won't obey. You can't.